Tukiwa bado katika taarifa hizi ni kwamba Dennis Mumanyi kwa sasa ni marehemu. Dennis alikuwa afisa wa usalama kwenye kikosi cha Reke nchini kinachoogopa mno kukuwa na uwezo wa kupambana na mashambulizi ya aina yoyote. Afisa huyo alikuwa mmoja wa maafisa waliouawa kwa kupigwa risasi katika kituo cha polisi Kapenguri ya Jana na kumwacha mkewe waliooana juzi kwa harusi. Swali lilopo ni je, maafisa hawa pamoja na familia zao huandaliwa vipi wanapokuwa kazini? Lofti Mapitambo anatupa taswira ya maisha ya afisa wa reke. Ulale peponi afisa Dennis Momanyi wa kikosi cha reke ruiru. Ulio watu hivi majuzi na sasa umetua cha mapema mno. Kamwe hatuto kusahau. Sehemu ya ujumbe katika mtandao wa Facebook wa reke. Labda ndo hali waipiti ayo kila mara maafisa hawa. Leo na mwenzako kesho hayupo. Wakenya wakijiuliza maswali kuhusu tayari wa vikosi vya kupambana na magaidi nje na ndani ya nchi. Lakini huenda familia ya Dennis Momanyi, mmoja wa maafisa wa kikosi cha reke, atokaye kisi bogichora ina maswali mengi zaidi kuliko wewe na mimi. Marehemu Momanyi anasemekana kuacha mtoto mchanga, lakini ari ya kuilinda nchi yake dhidi ya tishio la ugaidi huko Kapenguria ili muondoa mchanga. Je Mafisa wa reke huwa na hiari ya kuchagua misheni ya kwenda katika muda mahususi kwao. Normal lives go on in the background. Uh, people are dads, fathers, brothers, sisters, they come from families. And um, for you know, uh, the deceased Momanyi, uh, God rest his soul in peace. Uh, it so happened that he just uh, had a, a, a baby. You know. uh, that is something that possibly the force was aware of or was, wasn't aware of. But you know, the most important thing is he's an officer, he's an operator of the you know, Reke squad. And he was in the right state of mind. Kikundi cha Reke ni sehemu ya kitengo cha GSU. Ambacho hupata mafunzo makali na maalum ya kupambana na magaidi tofauti na wenzao. Wa Kenya, walikifahamu viema kikosi hiki wakati wa shambulizi la Westgate na chuo cha gari samwa kajana kwa kuwafagia magaidi katika muda wa dakika mbili pekee. Lakini je, familia za maafisa hawa kama mkewe marehemu Momanyi huwekwa tayari kwa hatari iliyoko vitani? We the citizens are we behind it? Do we accept that the fight um, against terror is something that we'd have some people sacrifice their lives for and the best that families can do is to pray for you know there are sons and daughters who are on the front line doing good business naam lakini mbali na maombi wanajeshi hutakiwa kuwa na nia safi waenda po vitani naam uh, ijapo wataalamu wataweza kujadili na kuzungumza mengi kuhusu kuandaliwa kwa hawa wanajeshi kile wanapoenda vitani inafaa kufahamika vyema kwamba hii ni taaluma ambayo heri na shari kupatikana vitani lakini zaidi ya yote ni ulimwengu mzima kujumuika ili kuweza kupigana vita dhidi ya ugaidi Lofti Matambo, Kitian Leo, Nairobi.